Hi, my name is Maria Jesus Bob. I would like to present this work, but there is other person who wants to expose this research. In the last decade, the use of learning support technologies has been evanished, associated with environments such as model, for example, based on this and considering the new technological context, extended reality is greatly beneficial to improve learning process due to its immersion, first-person interactions, customization and realism characteristics. Close to this technology are video games, which get things from people that are harder to get in other ways like motivation and engagement. However, design this type of experience isn't an easy task, especially if you want to align it with educational objectives that can be boring for the user. Also, considering that the massification of this technology has been limited by the difficulties of access and also by the difficulties of design and development of this type of experience, where could we start? This research proposes a design guide to automate the creation of this experience, facilitating the development by non-expert users. The design experience, called the Desnecla, seeks to raise awareness and trained workers on risk prevention on the construction site. In this case, the training objectives to be implemented in the game are identify the areas on the construction site, distinguish reckless action when interacting with heavy machinery, and use of specific personal and collective protective equipment. The guide is based on two approaches. The four elements that any game should have, according to Jane McGonigal, and the four types of players, according to Richard Burrell. Starting with McGonigal's approach, the four elements that any game should have are Clear objectives. The player must know if he has achieved the objective. Feedback. Check if what is done has worked. Social context. Getting achievements that are reflected in a ranking increases the player's prestige or reputation. Epic mission. Get things that were never thought of getting, like saving your teammates from a tragic death, where the player is the protagonist. This approach helps us determine the first component, such as point, bat, leaderboard, items, and game mechanics, such as challenges competition, feedback, resource, recognitions. Continuing with Richard Burrell's approach, we ask ourselves what this type of player would like to find in our educational experience. Achievers. A focus on attaining status and achieving preset goals quickly and completely. Explorers. A focus on exploring and a drive to discover the unknown. A focus on winning, rank, and direct peer-to-peer -peer competition. Socialites. A focus on socializing and a drive to develop a network of friends and contacts. This second approach helps us complement the previous components and gameplay mechanics. In this way, an experience that seemed to be only for the user leader but contain hidden educational objectives that facilitating the desired learning. Therefore, as a future learning work, it is intended to validate through multiple tests and standardize the automation processes and the guide shown so that they can be replicated in various fields of education. 